Hey, hi, this is Olivier, uh, and you're watching the Internet of Things show. And uh, today we are in building 43, and we are in uh, a place where some of the Azure magic happens. We're in a team, uh, we're, we're with a group of people uh, that suddenly has uh, some of my dream jobs, like their job is cooler than mine, which sucks for me. Uh, and uh, I have Rohan and JD with me. This team is called the Azure Cat EDE team, correct? correct. Uh, so, like, Rohan first, like, who are you? Real quick, what is your background? And, uh -huh. and then we'll talk about JD, and then we'll talk about what you're doing here. Cool. Um, so, I'm Rohan. Hi. Um, I'm on, I've been on the CAT e 2 team for about two years now, and it's been amazing because I don't think I've worked on the same project for more than four months. <laughs> and, you know, I come into work um, one Monday, and it's finally like, oh, we got this, you know, new project. We're flying drones today. So, it's been really cool. Awesome. How about you, JD? My name is JD. I'm uh, also an engineer on the uh, CAT EDE team. Um, the, uh, I've seen the team grow from a few people to where we are now. Um, where we're getting to do some really cool stuff with drones. So um, cool. we cover the, the gamut from web services and Azure integration all the way to flying drones and Internet of Things. So, it's, uh, so um, what does actually CAT EDE stands for? Uh, CAT stands for the Customer Advisory Team. Okay. And ETE stands for End to End. End to End. Okay, got it. So. Um, Am I summarizing that correctly? You guys are a bunch of ninjas. Like some execs say, hey, we should do that together. And uh, it lands on your table as in, hey, we need to make that happen. As in like, here is the goal, here is the technology, make it so, right? Exactly. So a lot of times it's that. Sometimes it's we've got a customer who's integrating these three services and maybe it doesn't work as well as we really hoped it did. So we want to go from the customer's perspective, make sure from the outside in that all these things really work together and everybody's using Azure is having a really great experience. And then you feed that back into the product team actually to have them implement the changes that you have to work with Precisely. to make it work. Exactly. Awesome. So it's kind of a inbound, outbound and, and kind of making the services better and making customers happy with our services. Exactly. Love it. So uh, I see a bunch of super cool hardware here and there. Uh, one of you wants to actually take a stab at talking about one or two of the demos you're working on? Sure. Um, so one of the more exciting things that we're doing right now is um, building um, flight control for some of the drones and getting uh, you know, sensor information, image recognition flowing through and going into IoT Hub. So then we can analyze that um, and figure out if there are any issues, if there's something we should go and look at later, uh, that okay. kind of stuff. Um, so it's been really cool. So we control the drone from a computer and we can go and like, you know, look at a dashboard later which says, hey, like, all of these things are wrong. You should go check on these things. Cool. So does that work? It does work. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm asking the question because like we talk a lot about, hey, there's gonna be machine learning or mm -hmm. there's gonna do this, it's gonna do that. It happens so that it works, right? Yep. <laughs> awesome. And so uh, that one actually is interesting. So this is an example of something you would do for a big demo for a keynote or something like that, right? Like mm -hmm. with build coming up soon, uh, that that is something that uh, I don't want to tease too much, but maybe it's gonna be uh, shown somewhere, right? Um, hey, JD, some, something you want to like show us? Like yeah, yeah, now? absolutely. So we've got the big drone here on the table. This one's really cool. We don't have it configured to fly indoors because it would be a little bit dangerous, but uh, we can run an onboard computer on there, uh -huh. have a GPU actually attached to this drone right here, and we can do machine learning in the air. And you're on edge, the edge. Real edge processing. As in um, versus like cloud computed, it's going to be edge computed using a model that's been trained in the cloud, right? In the cloud, so deployed right to the edge. Up okay. in the air. And it works. Up in the cloud, so to speak. So yeah, it works. It works. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, right now, we could show this uh, much smaller one. So this one, we can deploy um, the edge to a laptop and control it from a laptop. Okay. Run machine learning models there. Got it. And then we still, we're Got closer it. to the edge than so all the way in the cloud. So three levels. Basically, you have like the idea of sending everything to the cloud, computing up to the cloud. A second one, which is actually everything at the edge when you have some power there, mm -hmm. and something else is like using some sort of a gateway, and then the edge, the, 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 the device actually has the sensors, actors, but you're actually running the edge compute here on that laptop, right? Precisely. Cool. And it flies, right? Uh, this, one, this one we can fly. <laughs> Yay, go ahead. All right, so uh, let's see here. Take off. Take off. All right, so we're going to do it. Uh, not, I'll take, take Rohan out here, but. Cool. Okay, kids. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
So part of their job is actually to test, right? <laughs> so exactly. <laughs> and okay. we, ha we have had some tests. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. So when people are actually walking by this neighborhood where you guys are doing things, they hear sounds, they hear things, weird things going on in here. It's just you guys playing around, right? That's yeah. pretty much it. Uh, no, yeah, testing, it. not playing around. Testing, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I hear the difference. And here you have something uh, interesting, actually, which is a little tiny device. There's a big button on here. There's a big button. Um, so what is it? So this is an IoT-enabled button. Okay. So go ahead and press that button right there. So you can, you can let go. See the green light flashing? So it's connecting to the local Wi-Fi. Okay. And it's going to actually push a message up to IoT Hub. Okay. And that's going to cause an Azure function to invoke. So we can see it right okay. here, right here on my screen. Cool. Once it turns solid green, we'll have expected it to run. Okay. And now I can wait just a second, and it'll come through and actually cause this Azure function to invoke. Got it. And we can Got do it. anything you can do from an Azure function just by pushing the button. Awesome. And uh, this is a prototype. Very right? much a prototype. And uh, once again, don't want to tease, but something's going to happen there uh, about this thing. Expect uh, to see at it at the field, right? Exactly. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Anything. Cooler than, than that. that <laughs> this is this right? is the most fun most okay. fun stuff that we do. Cool. So this is the Azure Cat EV team. Um, it was fun to be here, guys. I'm sure I'm going to come back and have fun with you as well. Please do. Uh, I want my job to be as cool as yours. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching the IT show. Cheers.